Good afternoon. We are going to continue with the study of lines, and for these next two lessons, I'm going to look at the positions of a straight line. Now, if you're at home and you can look out a window and you can see where the earth seems to meet the sky, or if you can look at a large body of water where there's no land, where there's no buildings, if you can see where the water seems to meet the sky, you are looking at what we call the horizon. So if you're looking out your window and you can see land, no buildings, and you can see where the land seems to meet the sky, that's what we call the horizon. If you're looking at a large body of water, I can drive or walk or ride my bike to Lake Erie, it's not that far away from me, and I can look at a point, I can look at a part of Lake Erie where there's no land and no buildings, and I can see where the earth, I'm sorry, where the water seems to meet the sky. That's called the horizon. So I want to take this stick from the geometric stick box. Let's pretend it's a line. Remember, straight line goes, never changes direction, goes forever and ever and ever. I'm going to put this stick on this water and see what position it assumes or what position it takes. It stays on top of the water. I hope you can see that. Stays on top of the water, floating on top. We're calling that line horizontal. This line is a horizontal line. It's lying on the horizontal plane of the water. Let me dry this off. Put it down. And of course, I have a label. I always have a label. Horizontal. So this is horizontal. Now, I have here what's called a plumb line. This plumb line is going up and down. It is going perfectly straight. And when it is absolutely still, when it's not moving around and it's just about there, we can say that this line, which goes forever and ever and ever, this line is vertical. Vertical comes from the Latin vertex, which means the top or the summit. So this line is vertical. I'm going to do a little cross reach and stop that from bobbing around so much. Here's our label for vertical. So, A line that essentially goes east to west, left to right, is horizontal. A line that goes up and down, it's got to be perfectly straight. A line that goes up and down, or north to south, or south to north, is vertical. I'm going to show you a different way to look at horizontal and vertical. Let me clean this up and I'll be right back. All right, we're going to continue on with the positions of a straight line. I have a plane in front of me. This board will be our plane. And we're going to look at the position of this plane. So right now, this plane is sitting not sitting, this plane is horizontal, okay? Left to right, right to left, east to west, west to east. This is a line that is horizontal. Now, I'm going to take this plane and I am going to hold it straight up and down. I didn't talk about this before. Um, I'm not putting too much into the verbiage here, but I want you to know that a vertical line has to be 
90 degrees, okay? We're gonna get into that in the study of angles, but just keep in the back of your mind that a vertical line is 90 degrees. Now I'm gonna give you a new term. It's not horizontal, it's not vertical, but when I move this plane to this position, we can now say that its position is oblique. Comes from the Latin word obliquus, which means awry. So I'll put the plane back horizontal, and I'm gonna get some sticks from the stick box. My first stick, the pink one, I'm going to place horizontally. It is horizontal in relation to the bottom edge of the paper. And it looks like it doesn't want to stick. Let's try this instead. All right, that's horizontal. Okay? Horizontal. Now, the next stick. In relation to the bottom edge of the paper, and actually, I guess now in relation to the horizontal line, I've placed this stick or this line that goes on forever in a vertical position. Hope that shows up. There you go. Horizontal is the pink stick. Vertical is the blue stick. One more stick. It's not horizontal. It's not vertical. It's oblique. And there's our label for oblique. So we have oblique, vertical, and whoop, there you go, horizontal. Thanks for watching. More lessons to come.